Hi guys, Jason here from Trojan Photography and today we're going to show you how to take macro photography of flowers. So let's go through the kit we're going to be using and so it's quite simple. So I've got a Canon 550D, a 70-200, to 200. any sort of longer lens is going to do really well for this. If it's got zoom it's going to be even better and I'm going to show you why when we're taking the photos. And what I've also got a macro extension tubes. So you can get macro extension tubes, you can take macro with a special lens, or you can use the little glass filter that fits on. This isn't going to break the bank, number one. These cost about $80. You can get them for about $50 or something. AF confirms, so having the chip in the bottom there, so it reads that, and it will beep when it confirms the autofocus is in, is ideal. Um, if you want to pay a bit extra like I did, you can have all the electronics run through and it will focus, but as you'll see, I'll be turning off autofocus, manually focusing and working from there. So, no tripod. You can use a tripod if it's a sunny day like today, you're not really going to need it. It takes a little bit of patience, but it's a lot more mobile and because I've been walking around, I don't really want to lug a big tripod around. So, yeah. So let's get to the back of the screen and we'll look at the settings I've got. Alright, so first of all, we've got it in manual focus, which I was telling you about before, and you'll see why. Um, OS, optical stabilization, image stabilization, whatever your lens has, turn it on. It's going to be a lot better because you're going to be really close and you don't want to get too much shake in your image. So one for me is just normal, um, two is for panoramics. Um, pano, um, so we'll just put on one so that's simplest. Right now I've got the 13mm extension tube, right here I've got the other ones which are 21 and 31, make sure that's in focus, so 21 and 31, we may use those later, we'll see, let's turn the camera on. Alright, so right now I've got it in, it's full manual mode. Manual is going to be best because you're taking such a close. You can put it in um, aperture priority. Definitely don't do shutter priority because you're going to have a lot of trouble there and we'll talk about that. But um, you can do that and just use exposure compensation. But I prefer manual mode because the light will change a little bit but sometimes you don't want the exposure to. So right now I've got ISO 400 because some areas of this place are under a bit of shade. I need to get a higher shutter speed. F14. Now you're going to want the f-stop, the aperture, at sort of anything higher than 900, ideally, because below that you're getting really shallow. Now this lens will go to 2.8, which is great, and it's great for portraiture, but for macro photography, because you're moving the lens further away, so we'll go through it. So what it is, this spacer is just, it's hollow, there's nothing in it, it's just a tube. Now it's moving the lens further away, so we can focus close to a subject. So, and the closer we get to the subject, the shallower the depth of field. So, I try and go f11 or higher, that's a good starting point. If you're finding you're still not getting the whole flower or whatever you want to shoot in macro in focus, go to a higher f number like 22 or something if you can. Um, the shutter speed will be, shutter speed and the ISO are going to be the things that change mainly. I'm gonna, I don't want to really go too high with the ISO because the image quality will start to degrade, especially on this camera after about 1600. It's really hard to pull back even in RAW. But So we'll keep this shutter speed. Um, I'm going to be shooting around 200, so I want to have it somewhere around 1 200th of a second or around that so we don't get a blurry image, but we'll see how we go. Got it in RAW mode because that way at the higher, higher ISOs we go at, I'll be able to pull it back a bit better. Um, white balance is just auto white balance. I found the camera works really well with it and we're shooting in RAW so we can change all that so that's not a problem. Okay, so let's get this thing mounted on the camera and get a bit of first person shooter action going. Let's go. That bud's about two, three centimeters away from the flower and you'll see from the shot that it's fully out of focus. Now Instead of using focusing, sort of just use the zoom to zoom in and out until it hits focus. The autofocus so it beeps. That's the shot. And then you just sort of want to 
move in and out till you get focus, till you get that composition. And if you want to get in closer than this, if you've got a full lock, so lock the focus ring all the way in so it's at closest focus here. Use the zoom to focus in and out and then use your body as well a little bit just to fine tune it if you can't do it like that or like the major movements with the body and then fine tune it just with the focus ring. If you can't get close enough, put another macro ring on, a macro extension tube on. If you're too close and you want to pull back and you find you can't zoom out enough and you can't pull the focus away enough, take off an extension tube. So it's quite simple. You make the big body movement to get composition initially, then just focus in. Once it beeps, take a shot. Now you might want to use the rapid fire shot. So lock on and then take a few shots that's going to help right right now your hands are going to be a little bit shaky because you're in close you're in with a decent sized lens and then there's a little bit of wind around today so you're not always going to get it nice so hold it down take a couple of shots don't fill up the buffer because then you just got to wait two or three shots in a burst and you should be all right so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, any questions please leave them in the comments below, don't forget to subscribe, share the video around, you can also check me out on Facebook, links in the description below, and here's just a couple more photos I got from the day, I hope you enjoy, thank you.